I want mm -hmm. everyone to see themselves within my bean. So yeah. it's because it's like really hard to be like beautiful, have like the best personality ever. Jesus better have nipple pasties on and a jock strap when we get in there. Be charismatic, be funny, be talented, be smart. How am I gonna get there? It'll be pretty easy. <laughs> Two fine men at my side. Good to animals and to the elderly. One inch of Madeline's tail to this potion I brew. <laughs> be really fun at social events, but also be like a good homebody, like enough to be like a good like housewife in the future. Booyah! <laughs> yes! And to have a massive ass. Hey, I'm Nicole. That's, Ooh, that's, that's Nicole. That's Nicole. So cool. And I'm Jake. That's, that's Jake. Jake. Who's that? And this is Todd And this is Todd Nasty, Nasty to me. Just a lot of cat fur. On your mic? Yeah. It's because when you're not home, they're making beats. <laughs> you your couch. Look at her. She doesn't like it when you clap. Eh. I know. Eh. 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 Say sorry. Sorry. And please stop. Just stop yelling at us. It really makes me sick that we decided to do this way in the tub. Like, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, I have a good side or anything. But I realized today that no one knows that I have a nose piercing now. You're right, no one's ever seen you. <laughs> this is how everybody's finding your channel is the podcast. So yeah, yeah that's crazy. That oh. makes me sick. Well, you're you really decided on that side. That's I didn't true. even we actually didn't really discuss it. Had we discussed it, I would have been like, oh, I would love that side. Really? Well, yeah, because this side has this slant. And you so don't I'm like always that? like in like a reclining chair over here. Which I guess is how you're supposed to be in the bath, isn't it? Yeah. Like, that's what this is made for. Yeah. But, like, I'll slide down. Well, we can't move now because now that'll throw everything off. And then yeah, people and then, won't know who's talking. Well, you know what we can do is we can just reverse the video. No, it won't work out the same. <laughs> Clem, you, you want to come? Come on. She's you're the really producer. Cute. You're come supposed here. to, like... <laughs> come in. Come on. Meh. Aww. They're, she's so vocal. I know. Something's happening. I might be like really like deathly ill because she's been like extremely affectionate towards me recently. You're gonna die soon. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Because Clementine was really around my mom when she had cancer. Oh, we, really? We knew she had cancer, so it wasn't like a shock oh, to okay. us. <laughs> but like cats know when you're sick, so she's like curl up next to her like little bald head and stuff. Um, and so anyway, Clementine, if there's anything that I need to know, this is what she's doing. Oh, that's so she's cute. laying in my lap live on camera but she did it underneath i this know so that no one, would see. no one would see oh my god she's such a cutie she's funny oh my god good thing i'm in a comfortable position people have been uh commenting how what we do with our legs i know i saw that too yeah and i, I was saw like too. don't worry i will give answers in the next episode i kind of wanted to like keep it mysterious and secretive oh i wrote down that we marie condo our legs we fold them in <laughs> half and we put them away and say thank you <laughs> and say um if Thank you for your purpose you for, and you yeah. have served me and yeah mm -hmm. until next time right <laughs> and then we close the door and then we just kind of like get in the tub i had a meeting with someone like high up and important not to brag or anything you did mm -hmm. wow yeah oh my god who well i don't want to jinx it you know you know me i can't oh, say my manifestations so out loud so true but he was like yeah like it's just so funny that like you and your friend are just in this like confined space together <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is actually how we always are yeah like i said last episode i've never been in another room of this of no. this home no because i'm not allowed on the furniture mm -hmm. i'm only allowed in the bathtub clementine's so cute for being here right now you know what? a so lot of sorry. people have been asking about my my lip combo that i've been you fucked up i know i did something wrong a lot of people have been asking about my lip combo that i've been wearing um and i don't know how else to tell people that it's not like anything specific it's just that it's the residue that's on the inside of my <laughs> Walla water bottle keeping your lips moist you can see that from here you can see that yeah. it's like inches do you, of how like, often do you clean that you don't want to know but this is all just lip balm like i'm telling you it's all literally it's tinted yeah, it's tinted lip. I'm not putting that on my lips, but... Um. <laughs> you literally actively just drank out of that, so... <laughs> yeah, but seeing it in my hand, that's really vile. <laughs> that's different, yeah. But, yeah, it's just, like, various lip glosses, and, it, and there's a tint to it. I do clean it. Maybe not as often as, as someone should, but, like... I don't... I never clean my water bottles. It keeps people from, from um, drinking from my water bottle. Yeah, that, and also, like, it is good for my immune system to be consuming yeah, my immune like system's a lot great. of weird bacteria yeah. in there yeah there's a few things that help my immune system veganism um <laughs> taking zinc mm. and vitamin c 
not cleaning out my wall of water bottle, not cleaning the mold out of my shower. <laughs> but don't worry, like you have eucalyptus now. That's healing. So yeah, that's, that's he- that like totally cancels out everything happening in the grout of this wall. Yes. Yeah. Also, why would I like put you? We talked about this. Why would I invest new grout? You're renting. Right. Yeah. But will I repaint the walls and like Maybe. and spruce things up? Yes. Will I cut a little tiny hole in my wall and like figure out what color it was? Yeah. I cut out a tiny little hole in my wall because I wanted to repaint the walls because I I put holes in them and there are scuffs and there's different things and so I try to like paint match the the color of the walls because it's not white. It's not pure white. It's like a gray. And so I went to Home Depot with like a small like little swatch. I don't remember where I peeled off that large chunk, if I'm going to be honest. I remember. You showed it in your video. No, 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 no. The first time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I took, I took like a one, one inch by one inch chunk into Home Depot. They said it was too small, but that they could do it anyway for me. And I purchased, <laughs> I purchased. Like, oh, it's too small, but we'll make an exception. It was too matte. And oh. so the paint just, it looked fucked up, but, and I didn't check cause I painted all the little swatches all oh, over my house. This was the first time. Oh. And then the second time, well, so my house like looked stupid because you would walk through and you're like, why are there random little mat splotches everywhere? Yeah. I'm the only person who noticed. I Maybe, never noticed. Yeah, exactly. Not even once. And the second time was I took a knife and I cut out a hole in my wall, in my closet. This you time, like, work. like a two inch by two inch. Um, mm. You overcompensated. I did. And uh, I got... I got the right thing yeah. this time. Okay. I, think I, I think I got eggshell. And it was perfect. And it was good. And so I, um, and there's nothing more to the story. <laughs> but like I brought it in a tiny like little pouch yeah, to give it, it. Did you do the, did you use the sound on TikTok? Like, fuck it. I am in love with me, Jacob. No, it was before. Oh, it was before you should. Yeah, you should redo it. Bow. I know. I was thinking about it's putting a bow life, on them. It's not true to life, but. Right. But me. you have like other content that's backed up that like wouldn't be true to life yet. Like still. Like, that's true. Like all your whatever uh, the the european oh, stuff fuck. it's like you're I not still even have there to do that. still i so. still have to do that yeah damn <laughs> i'm sorry rats oh speaking of rats <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say they're crawling through the little holes that you make in I the walls had a, I, I have nightmares every night that's like nothing new i have like horrific very very real feeling nightmares so real to the point that when I wake up in the morning, I cannot distinguish what is real and what is fake so much so that my therapist had to make a script with me where I had to be like, my name is Nicole Raffi. <laughs> <laughs> a grounding script, like yeah. legitimately. Yeah. That's crazy. This Eventually is... your dreams are going to start adopting. Uh, I know. I think that I, she's smart enough. My alter, she's <laughs> smart enough to fucking do that. The girl. The girl, <laughs> the girl within me when I'm sleeping, she, she would, she would she's fucking evil. do a grounding She's really diabolical. In my sleep. And... I have to be like, this is my address. I am 24 years old. Wow. It is, And then I have to, like, say the date and everything. And that doesn't work entirely. The only thing that, like, truly makes me feel, like, grounded, like, truly, like, grounded is, like, reading a hate comment online. Then mm, I'm like, then oh, you're my like, God. Oh, I'm back. I'm here. I'm here. I'm present. I am. It's like, flick me and, or, like, pinch me. And, <laughs> and, and I, I must flick be dreaming. Me. Flick me. <laughs> flick my bean. I must be dreaming. <laughs> Did you know that bean sculpture in Chicago? The one that's like a mirror? Yeah, they based it off of mine. Oh, they did? Yeah. Yours is huge. I know. And shiny. That's why Adam got me a you little... You need to stop eating your, uh, your I highlighter. Stop I just stopped eating. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's why Adam got me a little Tiffany & Co. Uh, the bean necklace. He did? Yeah. That's because so he was sweet. like, congratulations on getting your clitoris to be made into <laughs> statue in chicago this is no. big this is really big wow and it's big it's really it's huge it's huge he said i always knew you were meant for greatness <laughs> and but he was talking to your clitoris yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also like just like as a little girl like we would talk about like our dreams and stuff like what do you want to be when you grow up and I like be a model i want to be a ballerina yeah. i want to be a vet i just never thought that like i would be like represented in the best way possible well you got exactly what you asked for didn't you say, like, I want my massive clitoris <laughs> to be on display for all of Chicago to see? And yeah. It happened. And I said, but I need it to be shiny. I said, you need to put... I want it to be really introspective. Like, I want people to look at it and be like, be like, oh, we are all within my bean. Yes, I want mm -hmm. everyone to see themselves within my bean. If, 
it's it's like a it's like a genie bottle. You rub it three times and you get three wishes. <laughs> yeah. But you have to rub the bean in Chicago three times Wait, to see who you really are. <laughs> to flick the bean in Chicago three times to see who you really are as a person. Like, do you feel it you when don't. people flick it? Like, like, is there some sort of like voodoo? I don't, I don't, but they do. Okay. They do. Oh, they, they do. They do. Oh, good. They, they like I, learn who I they are. I saw it live. I was there one time. Yeah. And, yeah. and people come and like line up out the door. And they come. And they're, yes, they do. Yes. And they're like, I need to learn who I am who as a person. Yeah. I need to learn like my values, my morals, like who I am. Like, this is me. This is real. Um, <laughs> you have a gift. Thank you. You really have a gift. Thank you. And I told them, I said, listen, let's make it shiny. Let's cover it in rare beauties and light and highlighter. <laughs> um, the soft glow touch highlighter. Let's just cover it in that. And they did. And that was so nice wow. of them. That's why it is. Is there anything letters. inside of it? That's not your business. Oh, I'm sorry. All my employees are there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your editors. <laughs> yeah. That's where I keep my editors. I send it. The Wi-Fi reception is really good. It is. I, I paid a lot for it. Good. good. Um, my managers are in there. My editors. Mm -hmm. um, oh, they all live together. We thought about transferring you out there. Oh. Like, as a podcast host to, like, go. I need, like, a new place to live. And my bean will ho home you. <laughs> <laughs> Let my bean be your home. <laughs> Me bean uh, es su bean. <laughs> no. Me bean es su casa. <laughs> yes! Oh. Thank you, Nicole. You're so generous. Thank you so much. I've always much. said that about you. You're very generous. I think I could have been Mother God. Could have been. I think you are. I think... <gasps> I think if I didn't get on OCT medication, then, you would. then maybe I would have been down the route to become. Yeah. No, I don't think so. But no, Jake you and didn't, I did you've never just, done that many drugs. No, 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 no. no, no. I stopped myself. But <laughs> Jake and I did watch um, Love Is One, the documentary on Hulu about the cult Love Is One, and it's about this cult leader who basically believes, but I don't know if she really believes it, believes that, or convinced others that she is mother you know, God. she really believes it? I really... I'm going to be completely honest with you. She's dead. She's dead. Oh, yeah. In all honesty, Spoiler she's dead. She's dead. Um, <laughs> but, no, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I think that she did believe that. You think because, she did? Well, I think she did sometimes. Well, I was talking with my coworker today about the documentary, yeah. and he was saying, like, first of all, he said to me, like, First of all, if you never tried, if you've never tried, like, uh, what are they called? Psychedelics. Like, definitely watch a movie on psychedelics. He and said I was that like, to you? Yeah, during this conversation about oh. Love is One, and I was like, well, oh. He, you but, were at a rock climbing gym. What do you expect? I know, that's so true. <laughs> that's so true. And honestly, you should meet some of my coworkers. <laughs> but yeah, me and my coworker were talking about it, and he said that, he was talking about, like, the psychedelics that they, that they did. It can really alter your brain chemistry, yeah. like, more than, because I guess... I guess, like, that feeling of, like, being so connected to the universe has something to do with, like, the serotonin levels yeah. within you and stuff. Um, but that's why I fully believe that she fully believed everything I that she I don't know, she, she sometimes said. came to, and, like, basically, like, towards this cult leader's, like, towards the end of her life, she started asking to, like, go to the hospital, and she started trying to contact her, like, birth family and stuff. But she basically convinced all of these people that she was Mother God, and she would collect little, like, Father Gods, like, they were, like, um... What do you collect things like? Uh, cupies? Oh, no. <laughs> no, what's that thing that you said in one of the the shorts, or the short videos, the short form, collecting them? Collecting oh, infinity stones. Yeah. She yeah, was, she collected the infinity stones of Father God. She was collecting infinity stones of Father God, just whatever man she was in love with. She was like, this is God. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, it was like, it was like, I was like which, I, which borderline abusive man? Right. And I've never the felt that way boyfriend. about a man, like, being like, this is God. <laughs> like, oh, no, never. Felt that way about myself. I would, but... yeah, duh. Every time you look in the mirror. <laughs> I remember one time, I was, like, the first few weeks of us meeting or hanging out. Me and you? Yes. Oh. I think it was sometime around when you came, when we watched Aryanka um, in Coachella, like, we, her Coachella we didn't performance. Watch our, we watched Billy in at Coachella. No, Aryanka? No, we watched Billy together. But no Arianka? No Arianka. Oh, I don't okay. think... Was Ari that year? I think she was the year before or after. No, Arianka was there. Wait, what were we just talking about? <laughs> um, The first time you met, we like hung out oh, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I too left. And then I too had <laughs> an experience <laughs> as, as a young person with um, not psychedelics, but a massive panic attack. I talked about it on this 
Oh, you did? I don't remember this. Do you, do you understand? Like, I don't remember anything. Long story short, I had a talk with you and I was like, you know what? Sometimes I do think about things and I'm like, what if, what if like I am God? Like, what if we are all you God? You said like, what, that to me at yes. some point in your life? Yes, I said. Oh, okay. But I didn't think of it like as no. like you are, you're like saying that you're like the creator of the universe. No. I think like you were saying it like each individual is their own. Why are you telling me what I think? Well, that's what I interpreted what you said as. But if you're saying that you were saying that you were God, I'm a little concerned. Like I maybe I should have been like more on like, like, like in in it. You know. I didn't say I was God. I was saying that like, what if we are all the same exact person? What if we are all just having individual experiences, but we ourselves are just God, but like in different bodies? Like we are just like there is no, like, like it is. Imagine like one big God, like one big god and then god gets separated into tiny like little tiny like little chocolate chips and we're all experiencing mm. our only little tiny chocolate chip experience of a big hershey and the bar the cookie is the world yeah yeah wow, i pretty. guess like i don't know i just i remember that's i said beautiful. something to that like that to you and you were like um yeah you might be a narcissist <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember that whatsoever oh i do i did you do. did you take and did you take that really seriously that you were a narcissist no because nothing oh. that you could ever and say to like, me was <laughs> You were like, maybe I am. No, nothing Nothing you could say to me has held, like, that much... Anything mean or anything that you have disagreed with me has never held that much um, value or depth. Same to you. And that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. No, because I say a lot of mean things. But I don't take it personally. Well, yeah, because, like, most of the time we're just joking. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you being, like, are you a narcissist, that is the same, like, like being a mean to like you being like nicole i think this is my concealer shade and me being like i don't think so like and i didn't even take that to heart right i was just like i'm going to prove her wrong that's the point it's but and that was me i was like i'm gonna prove him wrong i am god <laughs> those i am fenty beauty those two conversations are on like the same playing field to me okay yeah you are god and that is not my concealer shade yes okay so nicole Okay, in regards to this concealer, concealer gate, <laughs> 2023, okay, in regards to the concealer, Nicole, like, gives me sometimes makeup that, um, I guess, like, you get from people, like, mm -hmm. Rihanna, like, sends her makeup sometimes. Personally, from her own house. Yeah, literally, like, mm -hmm. we have her address. I'm like, Rihanna, stop. I'm like, Robin, 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 listen. Robin, look, look at me. You need to, this is, this is a lot. <laughs> I don't know what I was supposed to do with all this pro matte filter, pro filter matte foundation. There's only so many bottles I can go through. Yeah, you're like, I don't even wear makeup. <laughs> and Robin's like, please. I'm wear, scared that wear I'm going to grow old and I'm going to be doing that face a lot because I do it unintentionally. This? Like, like as a joke, yeah. If I saw an old man doing this face, I would, I think he'd be the funniest person to me in the world too fucking bad that i'm I might, an old woman and then you would be like Hag. well that's different like if you see an old woman doing anything though it's like automatically disgusting <laughs> exactly. and terrible yeah and they're mean yeah and they're witchy yes. and they have witch vibes but you already have witch vibes so like you're halfway there girl thank you so yes. much thank you <laughs> i remember when you posted that video uh you were like when i find a cat whisker on the ground i take it and i put it in my bottle and i said you're never beating the witch allegations. And then you were like, you texted me five seconds later and you were like, um, I'm posting that. That's going to be like half for when I post this on real. So I was like, okay, fine. Yeah, you can have it. I gave Jake, um, <laughs> contour, contour stick. He's like, oh, this is my concealer. I'm like, that is no, because not Nicole, your color. Nicole That's thinks, a contour. Nicole thinks that me and Nicole are like the same shade. White. Which is true. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We are white. Some of us are, are, are like, that's crazy. Translucent. Oh, <gasps> that's crazy. That's crazy. Considering that, like, you know, my father's, like, a Middle Eastern <laughs> man. So, like, it's just crazy that you're trying to claim that, like, I'm whiter than you are. Well, my mom's a ginger, and you, like, had red hair one time, and you totally, like, appropriated her culture. And I did. And what about it? Okay, so, like, each of us have done, like, terrible things. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can agree, like, whatever, we're both bad people or something. <laughs> um, no, but I was, like... I said to Nicole, I was like, oh my god, it's like perfect as a concealer. And she was like, I don't believe you. There's just no way. And then I sent her my review of my chatty matte lip plumper. Which I'm not wearing right now. Uh, and at the end of it, I was like, while well, I have you here, look at this. This is concealer to me. It's soft amber. I'm pretty sure that's the color that you have. It soft, is soft amber. Soft amber. That's my contour shade. Yeah, your contour shade, but not every... One woman's contour shade can be 
is another man's concealer or foundation shade. Remember, what did you say like a few sentences ago? We're bad people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's you. Yeah. Um, we... Jesus Christ. What were we talking about? We were talking about Robin... Oh. Robin Fenty. Medication. Oh, there's a few different PR packages that I get. I get PR packages from makeup, which is very kind. I love getting Fenty Beauty PR packages. It's the best day ever when I do. And I recently started getting PR packages from my grandmother. Because my grandmother... Oh, my God, that's so cute. She's... And I'm, like, not even on the fucking list. No, you're not. That's fucked up. But if you want some... Okay. Yeah. I will give you some. You know my big box of medicine that I have? Yeah. I don't have like an organized method That's for like my PR medication. from your grandmother? So much of it because my grandma, I guess senior citizens, I don't know what plan she's on. I don't want to expose her. I don't know what she's doing. But she has some sort of health insurance plan where they give her a certain amount of money each month to spend at this pharmacy on supplements. Like, it's, like, a certain stipend that she gets I'm to so use. I'm so jealous. And so, I, I think it's, six, like, it's a six-month period time or something like that. And, and so, she's using the money that she would be using on supplements. At the end of the, well, at the end of the six months, she's like, I fucking have all the supplements I need. I'm already eating all the supplements. She's like, I still have so much money, and it doesn't roll over. She's like, Nicole, what supplements do you want? I'm like, <laughs> biotin, vitamin A, vitamin E, um, B12. So Your grandmother's losing her benefits because of this video. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> like that's what that's why I was trying I was trying to dig you out of there. I know. Like I was trying to be like, oh, so like she buys all of her stuff and then like the money that she would have used on No, they're gonna take it away from her. Damn. I'm losing my health insurance. Tomorrow's my last day. Congratulations. I, really, I did not think that this day was gonna come. I actually need to uh, sit down tomorrow and like fill out an application and I'm gonna cry. So Nicole and I have been depressed recently. Um <laughs> It's funny because I came over today and she was like, I was like, how are you? She's like, I just been like sad the last few days. I was like, oh my God, me too. Like literally because uh, we've been watching this show. It's called Dragula, which I don't think that we've talked about. We haven't talked. First of all, I fell out like the largest fucking Amanda Bynes hole. Um, <laughs> Amanda Bynes hole. That's all I said. I fell down the largest Amanda Bynes hole. Rabbit hole. Leave on her YouTube. whole out of it. I know. I'm trying Leave to. her whole out of it. She's going through enough as is. I know. Well, I... I just, like, am very nostalgic for that time of my life when yeah. when she was doing her thing, just you know? Just watching that's Declassified, where they talk about boning all of each other. <laughs> oh, oh, their podcast? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy to, to see. Fill, to fill I was your like, void. Oh, wait. No, because that's, you like, also ruining and another... And holes at once. <laughs> <laughs> my Amanda Biden hole. Yeah. Your um, Amanda Biden hole will be filled. <laughs> but she, like, really went through shit anyway. Yeah. She's still going through shit, if we're being honest. Yeah. Like, you sent me that TikTok today, and it was very sad. Basically, to me. she has this new podcast, and her podcast host is apparently a really, like, dangerous man. Man. Like, like to the, I mean, at least in this one woman's account. Yes. Who was allegedly, like, obviously, I can only take her word for it, and I know very little about the man, but yeah. I will be honest. This, Watching this podcast, I was like... This woman claimed that uh, Amanda, Pine, Amanda Bynes... Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes podcast host... Allegedly. Allegedly sacrificed her, her dog, dog for a blood, blood moon. moon. That is the craziest thing I've yeah. ever heard in my life. And if that is true, and I hope like, Amanda Bynes gets away from this man. I know. You know? And to be honest... He has, like, my vibes when it comes to the podcast of, like, exploiting somebody who has, like, a following. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh cut that fucking, fu fucking cut that out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but, um, <laughs> Nicole and I, I mean, Nicole watched, like, the first five seconds of the podcast, and basically Amanda Bynes is like, hello, and welcome to the Amanda Bynes Paul Siminski <clears throat> podcast, like, and very special welcome to our guest. I forget what their name was, blah, blah, they blah. They were a tattoo artist. Yeah, a tattoo artist. And then... Like, literally, there's, like, a three-second pause, and Paul goes, Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the Amanda Bynes and Paul Siminski podcast. A oh, gorgeous welcome to our gorgeous guest. Yeah. Well, and I was literally, like... It was the same intro. Something's very weird. I mean, the entire thing is, like, obviously strange, and obviously she's, like, put into, like, a scary situation. Like, Amanda Bynes has gone through a lot, and yeah. is, like, still, like, not... Right. Well, I don't know if she's surrounded by the best people. I think everybody was really excited to see that she was doing something, like, yeah. especially a podcast, like, yeah. to just be like, oh, we are gonna hear Amanda Bynes' story yeah. right now. Um, unfortunately, she's just getting exploited. 
Yeah, for or she's name. just getting exploited, uh, yeah. which really sucks. Um, because I just want what's best for her. Yeah. But that really made me sad. And then we've been watching this show, Dragula, and we watched the newest episode yesterday. Um, our and favorite queen got sent our home. favorite fucking queen got sent home. And like, yeah, no, like normally things like Drag Race and Dragula don't affect me that much. But I think I'm just in like a sensitive state. I think you are. Me, on the other hand, me, I'm not. Listen, I'm not invalidating your sadness or your depression mm -hmm. whatsoever. No, go ahead. But, say whatever you want to say right now. But my version is like Jake being like, "Why are you depressed?" And I'm like. Well, my period just ended and I'm just like, I think like I'm really like not feeling so hot afterwards. And I may have seen someone dead this morning. And yeah. so like- Okay, but you didn't tell me that until after I said <laughs> I was also feeling depressed recently. And you're okay. like, you're like, I'm like, Cynthia, call. That's oh, man, so I'm sad. And you're like, I think I saw a dead body this morning. I and I was know. like, I really did want to like bring the mood down. Is everything okay? <laughs> I really didn't want to bring the mood down. I really didn't. Yeah. I Logan Pauled it. You did, thanks. I'm sorry. Isn't it so fun when like you literally your feelings are immediately invalidated by your friends because like it's always a competition on like who the fuck is more depressed? Yeah, and I will do anything <laughs> like <laughs> I will by, literally go and witness a dead body. By any means possible, I will witness something more traumatic to beat you in the depression Olympics. Thank you. Yeah. It adds more drama to my life. So it's also fun. not confirmed. I don't know what I saw. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, you could gaslight yourself into thinking that yeah, it, it was something be, else. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that nice? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's beneficial to be delusional. I do think. Mm-hmm. I've been saying, I've been saying that for a very long time that, um, I, and I said it to my therapist one time, um, and he was, like, really concerned because I was like, I feel like I'm pro-delusion. I'm rubbing off on you. I, it was my, a long, this was like a year ago. My Chicago bean clit is rubbing on you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are rubbing on my, my, my Chicago big bean. Oh, I'll move my legs. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not my legs. We don't hey, have. Hey, I mean it like right now, as we are speaking, like right this moment, you are currently rubbing up on my Chicago Lisa Peretti bean. I think Lisa that, Peretti. I think that is what it is. Unless Lisa Peretti is um, from, there's two options. Lisa Peretti is either the person who created the Chicago Bean or is the person on um, Real Housewives. And we're about to find out Peretti. right now. Peretti sounds familiar. Yes, I was right. It is. Oh my God, you would win that challenge. Like, name one woman. Lisa Peretti Bean. Yeah, <gasps> it is her. Pictures of her clitoris. I know. Up. You're like, oh my God. I know, look, they have a green bean. Isn't that so cute? That is really adorable. I want the green bean. Um. Uh oh. It'd be a great gift for Christmas. <laughs> just saying. Um, I've been just harboring a lot of resentment towards you, like the Thanks. last few days. <laughs> I don't mean to like make your depression worse or anything. About what? Um, just that like I you know that I need to be like focusing on my job and like how important like my career is to me and everything. And you know very well that like people have been um, messaging me recently like online and have been saying things like, Nicole, like this is like a really important topic I want you to cover. I really want you to talk about salt burn. Instead of, <laughs> and instead of us going to fucking salt burn, Jake and I go to his churches, his ex churches, his former, <laughs> Churches, family's church, wait, wait, wait. live nativity scene wait. instead of going to see Saltburn. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let, me, let me defend myself. Okay. Against the nativity okay. scene allegations. Against the nativity scene allegations. Okay. They are true. I said, first of all, it made my parents very happy that you went. I said, I said, can we start from the beginning? No. First of all, we had just finished watching... Um, the Love is One documentary. Yes. And I said, oh, do you want to go witness this, but in real life? Saltburn is at 6.15. Nativity. <laughs> at 5. A live Love has One is at 5 o'clock. <laughs> live Love is One documentary recreation. We can catch it all. We can catch Sexy Jacob Elordi and live yeah, Love is One. Yeah, we're optimistic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're not the best at time. No. Um, <laughs> no, never. We're just but a girl and but a guy. Yeah, like literally, literally, like we float around. We're like, <laughs> we didn't even know really where we were at the nativity. Let's no, be honest. No, were I was, we in Jerusalem? No, I was sweating like profusely because I wouldn't take off my my puffer jacket. Oh, because you were afraid everybody would see your tattoos. 
Um, no, I think I was wearing a long sleeve that day. Oh. But for fear that maybe somebody would smell like my armpits with the concoction of my um my aluminum free deodorant. Nicole gave me a, uh, a stick of deodorant from, from, a, from a brand but called it, Wild, mm -hmm. and uh, now my deodorant is always dispensed out of a solid steel deodorant tube, and it's engraved, engraved with Nicole right on it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, no, when I get nervous, I, I you have bad sweat, like there's this mm -hmm. like stress sweat, and I just got really nervous because I was. Like, you were nervous there. I was so scared. Why don't you like speak to me? I was so scared because I was like, am I going to see Jesus tonight? Am I going to watch him be crucified? How graphic is this? And I kept saying, this? yes, yes, yes. You need to understand. We sacrifice someone every time a group walks through. I wasn't actually, I wasn't <laughs> actually um, scared. I wasn't actually, but I do have uh, some like residual trauma from haunted houses in general. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what this was. And this was like a walk through live nativity scene at your With church like outside. With like live animals. Right, which was the best fucking part i know when we like, got there you were like you don't tell me there were live animals there's like like four sheep i was and so excited but like there's like children dressed up as angels and they're like put up on excavators like jeff wittig david dobrik style mm -hmm. and getting swung around and like they're like singing to you and stuff and like that's great but like i just have like residual trauma from getting um a chainsaw rubbed on me at a haunted house one year and it just rubbed scared on me. My, rubbed on my Elsa Peretti, my Lisa Elsa Peretti, um, Chicago, um, rare mirror beauty bean. highlighted mirror bean. <laughs> no. My mirror ball bean. Oh. Um. When you rub your clit so hard, it becomes, <laughs> it becomes a mirror. Is that what the thing is? Like, yeah. Is that what the message is? I think in, that happened in SpongeBob. Like, I think they kept <laughs> shining no, something. No, it was he the washed marble. his hands so hard that they oh, disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Oh. I had a friend like that. Here. You weren't like that. No, oh. no, I didn't. I don't have that type of OCD. Oh, okay, good. Do, for you. They do get dry though, but but not enough to to bleed or crack. Thank you very much. It's just proper hygiene. Good for you. Yes, thank you. But um, yeah. So I was like, we'll we'll be able to make it to all of it. I thought we would too. And then you you were like, we have to leave. Like we're still like waiting for. Yeah, for we us were to waiting to just like get into get in. it. Because that By was... By 5.45. That was New York City's hottest nightclub. Yeah, was literally. your church's nativity, live yeah. nativity scene. And so I was then, like, Jesus better have fucking nipple pasties on and a jock strap when we get in there. Yeah. And, and he yes, did. And he did. And he did. Thank God. But... This church is very progressive. <laughs> <laughs> I love what they're doing out no, there. No, you know what? It's not, it's not even progressive. It's biblically accurate. Yeah, exactly. You think they had, like, full clothes out back then? Right. Yeah. And so it was just really nice... Um, that we were there and I didn't want to disappoint your parents and you're like, we have to go. We're going to miss Saltburn. I was like, we didn't even get in yet. I was like, we're going to disappoint your parents. We're going to make them upset. We're going to disappoint Jesus. Yeah. We're already here. <laughs> yeah. We might as well go through. Okay. So you, so you're angry at me because I let you make the choice to stay. Yeah. Okay. You wanted me to be like, we're out of here. I just wish that like you as like, you know, like, I just wish that you as a guy would like put your foot down sometimes and be like, this is what we're doing. No, you don't. No, I don't. Yeah, not you definitely all. do not wish that. I'm like, I'm, there's not I'm a like, single like. There's never been a scenario where you wanted me to do that. Like when girls are like, I wish my boyfriend would just like take control and be like, we're going out to dinner here. I'm like, I don't want that. I want to actually have full say in everything. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, where do you want to eat? And then we both kind of like sit around for an hour and a half and like, you know, get angry with each other that neither of us can make a final decision. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm getting a text. Oh. Oh, wait. Is that your man? Who? <gasps> oh, weird. Mine? Oh, yeah. It looks like me and your man and <sighs> his man are hanging out. Rats. Sorry. And I didn't get an invite? Mm-mm. Oh, fuck. No, it's It like, wouldn't be the first it's time. A, it's a it's a boy's night. That wouldn't be the first time. How are you going to get there? To them? Mm-hmm. No, baby, they come to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, they come on me. <laughs> How am I going to get there? It'll be pretty easy. <laughs> Two fine men at my side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I meant like transportation wise. Oh. I'm going to hop on the Chicago bean. <laughs> okay. That SpongeBob scene. The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was it? A boulder. <laughs> That's what people say. You weren't about... a SpongeBob kid. I was a SpongeBob kid. Oh, I you was. were. I blocked out my childhood. Remember? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Come on. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I had a medium hard childhood. <laughs> An al dente childhood. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, the nativity. It was beautiful. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll make that the clip. And then I'll send it to my parents. Good. And then, oh my God, because your parents' friends were at the thing. <laughs> and then I told someone. I told my therapist did about you? this. Yeah. Your parents' friends were asking me. They were like, you're, you're the girl that he does the podcast with. And I was like, yes. And they are like, in the bathtub. And I was like, yes. yes. And then your mom's friend asked, what is your podcast name? And I can't tell you how fast I run away and like swerved. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. Our, our podcast name? And like suddenly I'm like running after Jake. Like Jake is like looking for to prop a door open with that. I'm like, I think that would look, work really well with like propping the door open. Like me like giving unnecessary commentary to everything I left you alone for doing. one second. No, literally. And you almost dox our podcast. No, literally. To the Christians. That would have been so dangerous. Yeah, that, that would have been so dangerous. And I would have just said that it's called like the Nicole and Jake podcast or like the Nicole and Jake show. You did show. say that. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, and, she and like it's again, not it even that okay. bad of a name. That it would probably be Jake and Nicole podcast. I think the Nicole and Jake the, show. The, the the Nicole Ravi and Jake Thatcher podcast, right? And it's named after our favorite podcast, the Amanda Bynes and Aww. Paul Siminski podcast. Oh, that's so sad. Is that what their podcast? Name I think is? it's actually called the Paul Siminski and Amanda Bynes podcast. That's so sad. That's so fucked. Imagine, imagine if this was no. called the the Jake Thatcher and Nicole Raffi podcast. I'll be damned. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> die. <laughs> no, um. Yeah, no, I thought, uh, no, the nativity, it's like, it's, uh, like, I feel bad saying this, so, like, don't call this on Sunday to my parents, but, like, I just go because it's, like, fun to, like, look at, you know, and I love taking someone that I know because it's, I get to be like, okay, so I was the angels that was when I was younger. Time. That was so, that is, like, my favorite scene for me I to I used watch. to do this role. Oh, I used to actually be on this role. Oh, I did I this role sometimes. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I was a swing on this role. It was a swing. <laughs> <laughs> I was an understudy to be Jesus here, but they never wanted me. <laughs> the one girl who did, like, the crucifixion scene, she did, if you don't know, Jesus, like, died or whatever. This girl gets, st- like, her back is strapped to this thing. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about the angels? Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. The gets, like, the- <laughs> shot up into the air. Like, literally, there's this guy standing there, and I, and I literally said to Jake, I go, is he going to get shot up in the air? <laughs> and all of a sudden, he, like, stands up against the wall, gets shot up into the air, like, and disappears. No, but before that, the scene right before it, there's this girl and she's like basically hung like on a hanger as an angel, and yeah. they like and they like bring her over the, like this wall and then bring her down or whatever. But before the scene even started, like she's just dangling up there, and I'm not kidding. This girl won the I don't give a fuck war. That's okay? like you she's the front. She's the front line. That's like SpongeBob with the little wizard hat, like being hung yes, up in the air. Yes, it was her, and she her. was just like this. And then when she got down, it's supposed to be like the scene where like the angel like makes all like the guards pass out at Jesus this tomb or whatever and she's like <laughs> and she like the way that she rolled the stone away was so funny she reminded me, me. I, it gives the same energy that like caroline polachek <laughs> or like, like anything slash cowgirl clue yes because they're both she, they both look the exact same i'm convinced that they're the same girl just like in different colored wigs i agree i agree that is hannah montana and none of us can tell except me because i'm important but like <laughs> but she's leaving us hints because she leaves those like blonde stripes in her hair if you guys don't know who cowgirl clue is you need to look her up just look her up watch her music video of hers love her love her music think she's great the effort that she puts in is, is hilarious yes it is it's actually so genius because you can tell it's absolutely on purpose yes, and for the yes. bit, yeah and caroline polachek she does give effort but it's in the same kind of way where it's like very effortless and mm-hmm. like very like cool like so it's like I'm convinced that they're related. I think that they are. I think that's something... Yeah, let's start that rumor. Yeah. I Caroline like Polchek and Calgary Clue. Are related. Yes. Not that, like, literally anybody but the two of us really, like, cares Care, about that much, yeah. that much, but sure, I like it. Why not? I think I'm going to start a rumor online tonight. I think I'm going to post something. Again? <laughs> <laughs> I've been on Reddit so much. Oh. Oh, that's why you're depressed. Oh, Jake, that's why you're depressed. Wait, don't act like you haven't been on Reddit. I've been on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like you're like oh, yeah, but, but I'm really on, you're but on. Reddit. I'm on meds and you're not, so I'm allowed to be on there. It like cancels each other out. It's okay. 
Oh, I don't know what to say. Also, I am on meds. My Reddit. Rhodiola. <laughs> <laughs> my Reddit, like, forum, my Reddit. I'm taking shots of colloidal my? silver. Oh, no. My... Me, I am. You are? Yeah, I am on meds. You I'm taking been, shots of colloidal silver. You have been silver. blue recently. Thank you. Um, I'm feeling blue. My... <laughs> My Reddit thread, on the other hand, what is it called? Your Reddit, like your for you page. My Reddit for you page. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm really on like Dragula and Drag Race Reddit. Mine is all pan porn and what it is. Oh yeah. It's, it's, she showed me this in church, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's, like, it's eyeshadow, but it's just makeup, and it's yeah. people taking photos once they it's hit pan. It's pansexual porn. <laughs> yeah. Like, and you're, and you're yeah. showing me that in church? Yeah, and I just fucking love that page. Like, when I'm feeling stressed out, I'll watch, like, people's, like, empty videos or, yeah. like, products I finish. But there's just not that many anymore because nobody's finishing up their products And I anymore. remember asking you, I was like, did, do people get, like, roasted in here? And you're like, yeah. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. yeah. they're, like, digging into the pan too much That's or they're way too to aggressive. Me. But I fucking love the pan porn subreddit. But there's drama in there. There's drama in everything. There's drama. Do you take part? N- no. Damn. See, it's kind of fun though, too. I know. I just. Don't... What's your like? What's your like Reddit like name? I can't say. You don't want to say. No, but I haven't oh, posted gosh. anything at really? all. Really, I post in. You can find me, Jake. Yeah, because you have too many opinions. But it's all. Of, it's like literally Dragula only, and I'll be like, I hate it here. I'm the type of person who won't give like a review on like anything unless someone like asks me which i will get into in a second but like i don't give reviews i don't post on reddit i like am in my neighborhood like area facebook page and hey, i don't you know what they to call that. you lurkers um bystander effect no a fucking voyeur <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you're a fucking voyeur. i like to watch yeah you're what disgusting now what about it well, listen i'm not like posting anything harmful on reddit i but it's because i like to engage in conversation about things that i like so like dragula and stuff yeah i like seeing opinions about it Espe- like obviously i don't like like stupid opinions like this this person sucks or whatever i never say shit like that but i will be like oh the editing is really different this season and things like that like i like talking about that um, which is why I literally consume the most media about drag queens ever, like, on a weekly basis. I don't contribute at all because I don't want to have conversations about things I like. Oh. That's for me and me only. What is this? Oh, I don't talk about things I like with you. Oh, okay. Just, like, <laughs> distaste. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did leave a review, though, <clears throat> yesterday, <clears throat> because yesterday I woke up. And I was like, I need a new mattress. Like, it, it's gotten so bad. First oh, of all, oh, oh. I have problems with sleeping. I have problems with nightmares. I have, I have, I have. And a mattress I, would fix it. I have some sleeping issues. <laughs> I also have a sciatic um, nerve pain injury. How did I get this injury, you might ask? Do you know how I got the injury? Do you remember? Because you were such a sick field hockey player in high school. I wish that it was that cool. <laughs> I wish that it was I knew that, that, that fucking cool. I that was the answer. I did in high school, though, when I was playing field hockey, I did pull my my glute um what? i pulled my butt my butt cheek oh. and i like it hurt to walk like i couldn't even walk it hurt so fucking bad like i don't <laughs> is know that why you walk is. like that now yeah <laughs> and so it, it never reattached it, it hurts so fucking bad and i had to go and i went to the doctor about it and they put me in this back room in this like low-lit room and i had to get it massaged by like an old man oh. when i was like 13 Damn. and he was so fine about it like he was like so like normal and like whatever and like not like a physical creepy. therapist at yes least? okay yes he was not creepy at all he was very kind i knew him for many years before that <laughs> oh but... great he was like and and how's your mother yeah <laughs> <laughs> no literally that literally happened to me my physical therapist when i when i had like a knee injury yeah. like a few months ago knows all of my siblings so he's like literally like ham hawk in my ham hawk leg and he's like stretching it river he's like and how's your mother huh? and i'm like oh it's just weird how good. you like wanted to compare like him ham hawking you to like someone like massaging my my butt at the age of 13 i just think in general physical therapy is an uncomfortable thing <laughs> yeah, to go through. It like is. it really is it you is. are you i've never felt more first of all i'm like is my problem really that bad that i need to be here because there's like old people who literally can't yeah. stand there yeah and then i'm like also, like, I don't think I've ever been more vulnerable in my life. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize, like, what, that it was my butt that was the problem. <laughs> like, I didn't realize, because it when you pull it, it feels like it's your hip. What age did you realize that your butt was the problem? 
I just realized that it was like so juicy and big when I was like probably like 15 mm. and like a- and after you're so that. brave for getting a, I know a, a reduction yeah it was just and that's and so some people are like oh Nicole you always talk about how you had a big juicy ass and stuff but like it's not like apparent it's because I had to get a reduction because it was so juicy and beautiful and fat and I just didn't want to keep rubbing it in other people's faces yeah. because it's like really hard to be like beautiful have like the best personality ever be funny be talented be smart be charismatic be like generous be like um good to animals and to the elderly and to be like a good homemaker but also like be really fun at social events and be like a socialite but also be like a good homebody like enough to be like a good like housewife in the future but like not enough to be like only a housewife like i would have a full-time job and i would do the duties of having a housewife like i'm just so multifaceted and so talented in so many different departments and to have a massive ass it was getting distracting like that's way too many ducks in my in my boat yeah i remember when you woke up from your surgery and you were like where's jake and they were like who do you think took the ass Mm -hmm. that was so beautiful yeah that was so beautiful (laughs) yeah so when are you gonna start like doing all that stuff what stuff that you were mentioning earlier oh like being beautiful and charismatic and like a socialite yeah go fuck yourself give me my ass back (laughs) no give me the ass back (laughs) um i don't have it anymore i lost it you lost my ass yes it's been padding the whole time (laughs) (laughs) um wearing six layers of tights under under (laughs) his pants (laughs) i um no i got i got my sciatic nerve injury when i was dancing at a tave and paula concert i don't know what happened I don't know what happened to me, but something really evil and sinister happened. Mm-hmm. And every single time that I sit down or I lay down, I am in constant, like, this, like, shocking, like, zinging feeling, uh, like, between, like, my tailbone, Your like, down to my cramps. legs. My prostate cramps. Mm-hmm. You know what? I did get scared because some people did say that me having butthole cramps could mean I have endometriosis. And I cannot add another thing to my what diagnosis list because people are going to stop believing me. No, it's just a prolapsed anus. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in there. I think it's in. I have a ninny, not an Audi. Oh. <laughs> I think, like, it's about when they pull the umbilical cord when you're birthed. Mm-hmm. It's like if they pull it too hard, you get a prolapsed one. Where do you think that an umbilical cord comes out of? Do you think it comes out of your ass? Oh, this is, like, really scary to tell you that it doesn't come out of your no, ass. No, I knew that. It's your belly button. <laughs> but that was, like, the rumor that, like, if they pulled it... Who like, said that? You could you could decide, like, like mothers can decide, like... Like, they're like, oh, do you want your child to have an in or an Audi? And then they go, like... in or Audi belly anus? Button. Belly button. Is that what you've been talking about this whole time? Is no, that what you've been talking no, about this no. whole time? I like, about making, having an in or Audi? I was making a joke the first time about the prolapse anus. And then I was being truthful about the rumor when I was younger that people with Audi belly buttons got their umbilical cords, like, pulled, like pulled a little bit. You know when people, like... Because that's where it connects to. When You're people... Welcome. There's, like, this certain feeling that I get. I get it in two specific instances, and now it's three. Your, one is, your prostate pain? No, no. Oh. One is when people give me directions to go somewhere. The second one is when people explain border card games. And then the third one is you <laughs> re-explaining something. You've said this to me before. Have I? Yeah, you have. Like, like legitimately exactly that you've said really? in your life. Yes. All those three things? Yeah, you, like, that's, like, crazy that you know yourself that well. And I don't even know it. It's, like, yeah. subconscious. Yeah, that's great. You're, like, when people try to explain board games to me... Don't understand Wait, what it. was the first one you Maps said? Maps or directions. Directions, yeah. And you're, like, my eyes glaze over and I just, yeah. like, stop paying attention. Like, literally, my eyes... <laughs> <laughs> if you're a video viewer, this is just what I did to Jake. <laughs> I've just had, like, really shocking and crazy um, sciatic nerve pain. And I don't wish it upon, like, my worst enemy. It's such a bad, awful pain. And I started going to, like uh training weightlifting like i had a trainer that like helped me for a period of time and he was a man so everyone should be really proud of man and um he like basically the only time that i'm not in what pain was his name? i can't say we're we're on a podcast is he cute he is actually he still follows me 
Was he Wait, cute? this is actually like really scary. You Answer actually the question. Do, I think I had a dream about him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, You're I avoiding joking. the question. No, I seriously think I had a question about him, but maybe because I was thinking about him because my sciatic nerve pain was really hurting. You had a dream about another man? No, we were at a wedding. <gasps> and I, I think, you were at you were at a dream no! where you got married to another man? <laughs> We were at a wedding and I think a nightmare. I think he was like, there's no way that he could watch this and possibly be at this point of the podcast. I, I think I had a dream that it was him and, and someone else and I asked if I could sit next to him. I'm not even joking, I'm being dead fucking serious. I had a dream if I could sit next to him at this wedding and he said no because he was a groomsman and I was not like within the wedding or whatever. Yeah, you weren't special enough. No, and then I like went downstairs and played computer games during the wedding because I was like upset. Hey. You know what? That is like my life, but like the <laughs> wedding is is like just any family gathering. <laughs> But that was, like, a scary time to, like, be working with a man who, like, consistently had to, like, stand near my butt and ask me all the time, like, does this hurt? Like, does it feel better? And me having to, like... (laughs) I hate you for telling that like that. (laughs) Standing near my butt and saying, does this hurt? I'm just being real to the sciatic nerve pain community. Because it fucking hurts. We are stand with you, girl. (laughs) We are stand with you, girl. (laughs) Because it fucking hurts. And so, anyway, I... Good for you. Oh, I got a mattress. That's where this story goes. Oh, you left a review. I woke up this mo- last yesterday morning and I said, if I don't get a new mattress today, then I never will. Mm-hmm. I said, I never fucking will. So I decided to get a purple mattress because I was like, I guess I will. And also I really wanted someone to come <laughs> deliver it to me. <laughs> I just literally did not want to have to do anything. But now you have to see people. Fuck! I know. And, and they I have, have to come in here. I have to- <laughs> I can't wait. I have to lock the cats. I've already thought about it. Like, as soon as, like, we were planning it, like, the woman was like, okay, like, here's, like, the delivery, like, things. And I was, like, already, like, planning in my head. I'm like, okay, so the cats are going to go in my closet so that they can be by their litter box. But I'm also going to put the food in there and also, like, some toys and a bed. And, like, you all these things. You inside it and go, oh, fuck. I fucked up. Where are the cats going to go? I fucked up. Oh, fuck. And then I and people and, a, and probably a man has to come into my apartment yes. again. And then I started thinking to myself, I was like, oh shit, what if um the cats are literally like, what if I can't find them like when they come, like when the when the moving people come to like help yeah, move what the bed? What's gonna happen? Because what if the cats are like around? And then what if the doors open? And then what if one of the cats like slips out? And then I yeah. have to like be the crazy person who's like walking around like trying to like ding their air tag. And then I'm like super happy that like I have an air tag. And with like them you and randomly run into your landlord on the street, and she's like, "Oh, you're looking for your cat?" And you're like, "Yeah, they're both." And then you're like, oh. "Right." And then she's like, "Oh, both." both? Exactly. I started thinking all the way through. And then she's like, ma'am, you just need to sign here. And so I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Oh. And, um, oh, where was I? <laughs> anyway, um, she was great. She was so super nice. Um, and I'm very excited for my bed. I'm very excited to feel so comforted and um, supported. And you left a review? I did because she asked me to because they don't get paid by commission. So she's like, here's my card if you could like leave a Google review because it helps me out so much. I was like, absolutely, because she was super sweet and like the easiest person to work with ever. Later on, I check my DMs and she's like, I just saw a Curology ad. And I was like, I think I just sold her a bed. And anyway, now we're mutuals. Oh, that's so so sweet. That's my best friend. Wait, we have Friendsgiving on Sunday. Like, maybe oh, I should, should invite, her. invite her. Yeah, I should invite her. And I'll You're be like, like, and this <laughs> is the lady who sold me my bed. <laughs> she had to watch me like get onto the bed because I didn't know what to do. I just oh have god, it's not, probably so awkward. I have not. Were you like this? You're like, oh, exactly how you imagine me. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> exactly how you could picture me. Yeah. Like, like sitting down, like. I, I literally I'm sorry. like I no I'm just like in so much pain uh, really well like it's cause like when you don't have like a whole ton of ass like sitting on your tailbone eventually like hurts really yeah, bad yeah you never should have gotten it removed um, I knew a girl who had a tail not personally okay <laughs> <laughs> and then she and her other friends got together and they made a rat king together <laughs> one <laughs> One inch of Madeline's tail to this potion I brew. <laughs> um, Her name might have been Madeline, to be honest. No, I knew a girl who had a tail because I had, um, when I was really deep. I'm going to edit that close up <laughs> on my face. And then, like, that sound that people do from um, X-Files where like. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a girl who had a tail once because I was really close um to the field hockey girls not because i i don't consider myself in that because even though i did play field hockey oh, you were i was close i was not to the field hockey girls we all liked women in that <laughs> club okay everyone on the field hockey oh my- team was gay 
gay. What was he oh saying? Oh my god, you're gonna be on a yellow you're jackets. On, you're literally about to be on a red carpet, and fucking Variety is gonna come up to you and be like, "Did you mean to out yourself in the fucking in your podcast episode?" I know. In your fucking. <laughs> in your fucking. <laughs> Me on a, can you imagine me interviewing people on a red carpet? <laughs> Did you mean to fucking <laughs> tell us more about the girl with the tail? <laughs> I had a oh fuck! I hope that none of my well, if you do have a tail, you are beautiful just the way that you are. <laughs> you offended the fucking tail community, and you don't need to change for anybody because guess what? You know what? The world needs to catch up. Every single day I wake up and wish that I had a tail. <laughs> Your tail makes you unique and beautiful. Don't change a single thing about you unless it hurts and starts bleeding because this girl's dead. <laughs> I, uh, I, how long was it? I, <laughs> <laughs> like a good two to three inches. Oh my god. Yeah. And it, she showed it to you? I No. She was oh. on a different team. Okay. Like I have oh, this Oh, you made one fun of her. No. She made fun of her? no, she was like a really pretty girl. I was honestly really glad that she had a tail because I was like, there's something really fucking there. Like, you know, when you see like a really beautiful girl and you're like, something has something to has be, to be up. wrong. Something yeah. has to be up. And when I found out she had a tail, I'm like, makes sense. That yeah. makes perfect sense. That, that was like sense. the entire, our entire first year of friendship. I was like, she's so pretty. I need to figure out what's going on. She has on a fucking tail. Yeah, she has something going on. And, and then you were like, I have OCD. I was like, booyah! <laughs> I had a friend on the field hockey team that every girl in like a 400 mile radius was like in love with her <laughs> like very in love with her so she was friends with like every single field hockey girl ever and so there was like a catholic school that was like mm -hmm. not too far from us which had the prettiest girls in the entire world and they all looked exactly the same they all had like dark brown hair and like blue eyes and like tails and I didn't know about that until she told me later all on. All of them? She's, well, I think one or two because they were sisters. Wait, okay, so like, not all of them. <laughs> and then, <laughs> You're, you were like spreading such terrible rumors about I didn't. I didn't share. I didn't share at all. But I'm just telling you right now that, and then she had to get her tail removed. And that like, it was like really painful for her because it would like legitimately bleed. And it would like get in the way of field hockey. Wow. That, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy that we just like outgrew them. And then these two girls were like. They're, they're one thing that their body just didn't catch up on. Like, you know how, like, nowadays bodies, like, don't produce wisdom teeth because we don't need them anymore? Or, you know, Mine soon, does. like, people don't. Because I'm smart. Some, some people. <laughs> My mom says that I'm smart and she says that I have wisdom <laughs> teeth because of it. Some people, uh, you know, hopefully in the future we won't be bored with appendixes because it's not necessary. Yeah, I don't have one of those. And these girls were so pretty that, like, <clears throat> God was like, I need to give them, like, a little, like, mishap and it was a tail and they were still the prettiest girls ever tail or not it's just supposed to show you like no matter how fucking weird you are and how like deformed and weird fucking weird your fucking weird ass body is <laughs> <laughs> you can still be pretty you can still be like society's like standard <laughs> for pretty thank you nicole what what are you doing I'm texting my friend and asking the girl. Asking <laughs> Who was the girl with the tail? What Show me the girl with the tail. The name of the girl with the tail. <laughs> I'm going to start. Okay, so this Sunday we have uh, we have uh, Friendsgiving. Yeah, really late. You're probably wondering why the fuck that's happening in the middle of December. Because we're busy. We're fucking busy people, okay? Did I get blocked? By that girl? Yeah, my texts aren't saying delivered. Damn. Is it because I asked too many times a year, what's the name of the girl with the tail? <laughs> Text, I promise, this is the last time I'm asking. I'm going to check my messages. Oh, I haven't asked about the tail in a while, so. Um, but we have Friendsgiving on Sunday, and I think everybody needs to make a dish. So I made daddy's ooey gooey. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. I'm going to try it again. I can I can never say it correctly the first time because I start like to laugh. Such a time it's so fucking funny. It's like the funniest fucking thing I've ever fucking said. I'm making daddy's ooey gooey cum dump banana cream pie cookies. I actually already made them. Um, <laughs> and the cookies. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking like a fun little thing. We should pull up like try not to cry videos on the TV. Try not to cry? Yeah. Like sad videos? Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Why? Like if we all like gather around the TV and then like sad music starts playing and there's like 
there's those, like videos of like of like someone someone's wartime father coming home from war to them and surprising them at high school Ugh. and do you think that that's like a good pairing with your daddy's ooey gooey come dump <laughs> banana cream <pie>? my daddy's <laughs> no <laughs> you're here <laughs> Your cookies. <laughs> you know what will make me cry though, like instantly, like someone forcing to put Harry Potter on the TV <laughs> when I just wanted to watch another show. Like, Nicole, Nicole <laughs> text. Nicole is like literally constantly. She's told me actually eight times in the last maybe three days that I need to finish Julia Fox's book. Mm -hmm. The newest to episode. Sabrina Carpenter. Mm -hmm. And the newest episode of Emergency Intercom. The newest episode of Emergency Intercom. Listen to Trisha Paytas's podcast listen to all of h3's frenemies or whatever and then nicole is completely and i'm not I'm like, oh well wait wait first of all i am not advocating for yeah, harry potter are you fucking team adam right now <laughs> jesus christ team adam. your brain is so fried from uh, society's brains are so collectively fried from twilight that we have to always be like team this person and team this person <laughs> Are you Team Adam? Your boyfriend? <laughs> like, this is like a fake character. Like, oh, I'm Team Peta. Didn't we talk Gale. about it on the podcast like earlier? That, that Adam, that Adam wants you to watch that transphobe, like, that, that turfs fucking. He wanted me to. I've never as a kid watched Harry Potter, and he really wanted me. Him and and his roommate Brad really wanted me he to. Said, Nicole, I just want you to witness the magic that right. I witnessed as a child. And I wanted to watch the Kardashians that night because I really wanted to see. Courtney what what she likes to say to him though is that we wanted to watch the Kardashians. Right, because it was a new episode, and I needed to see Courtney <laughs> Kardashian talking about how um, ungrateful. No, talking about how she cannot do a fucking podcast. And talk about, no, that Ethogen was Chloe. Ethnogenetics. Oh, that is Chloe. Ethnogenetics. Is that what you just said? Epigenetics. Epigenetics. Oh. And talk about how um, her, that her mother's, and while she was in the womb with her, like, her eggs were already in there. So, basically, how, like, Courtney's child was already in Chris Jenner's body, and, like, the trauma that Chris had is now being carried on to Penelope, Disick, and everything. And... I want to watch that. I just didn't feel like in that moment watching Harry Potter. Also, like, it just sucks yeah, but because... Yeah, she said, she goes, it's a boy's movie. I said, I don't <laughs> want to watch a boy movie right now. I want to yeah. watch girl TV. And and you know what? And there, there's no winning because the Kardashians are bad and the creator of Harry Potter is bad. So there's no fucking winning. I just want to say like sometimes like when you tell me to watch or listen to sabrina carpenter i'm like that's a girl's that's girl music all your music is girl music <gasps> you don't listen to any boy music name one boy music boy genius doesn't count nicole rappy says the f slur without saying the f slur <laughs> i posted a picture of my new hair because i got it dyed. thank you gianna thank you kitten milk for cutting and dyeing my hair and somebody commented oh no r.i.p to the blonde twink yeah, I don't if think one, people no, no, are allowed and, to do that no, to you. No, and, and, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, trying to say that, like, like, I just have never been in a scenario where somebody is using that, who's using the word twink to, like, lift someone up, right? Yeah. So I'm just, like, whether, what, like, obviously intentions or not, twink is now a, uh, censored word on my instagram like if you, you comment yes i'm so fuck in on my tiktok if you comment twink bitch you're getting like restricted i accidentally said it a few years ago in front of jake and she goes oh my god nicole you, you <laughs> i worried her so bad too he's like you can't fucking say you know that's a slur and i was like oh yes sir, i didn't know oh my god and i didn't call you one and i, I forget like, like what the context canceled. was <laughs> but like i was just like no no i didn't mean it i'm sorry i just think like I just think we've literally replaced the F floor with no, Twink I recently, think, and I, I don't like that. I think people are also just feeling very comfortable. Right. Because I'm trying to say the C word less. Okay. Because yeah. I can recognize that it is, like, a slur. Yeah. Right? And I, and I understand, like, reclamation of words and stuff. We're all just fucking failing at doing that. Like, do you guys understand what it means to reclaim something yeah. and, and, like, put it in a positive light? You can't keep going and using it against people. Yeah. Like, that's... That defeats the purpose, right? Yeah. I don't care who it's coming from. In fact, I get called a f yeah. f by gay people more than anyone because they feel like they can say You're the word. The world. But I don't appreciate that it's never, like... It's always to bring me down. And, like, 
I don't care about what I look like like that. Like, I don't care, like, if I am a twink or whatever. It's all about, like, the precedence of, like, I don't want to say things to bring other people down. And I'd like to think, like, <clears throat> at least I've never said, called somebody, like, to their face. But, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I have never said that, like, to someone being, like, you're being a oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think that that's right. Have I said, like, somebody's behavior has been like that? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think I'm trying to, like, be more cognizant of that. And I understand that people use it in, like, to be like, oh, she served, you know? And that's yeah. cute. But I'm also, like, I don't know. I think we need to, like, completely just, like, reset on some of this. I think also the term, <clears throat> like, people saying, like, reclaiming a word. I think a lot of times, especially when it's, like, a word like that, like, the F slur, maybe just start off with just doing that to yourself, not to, like, someone else. You yeah, know what so I mean? you should be in the mirror and you should be like... <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Isn't that what, um... Nicole's like, no more affirmations in the mirror. Isn't that what it said in Black Swan? Like, she's, like, looking in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's just, like, I... I just don't think that everyone's, like, comfortable with it, so don't go around, like, calling other people that. Like, I think if... Yeah, it, I would agree. Especially strangers online. Because yeah, if you want to use it, like, self-deprecating humor or whatever, yeah. sure, go for but it. But at the same time, you don't... Like, people don't know you, yeah. like, like outside of this. And it's not even a word that I even call you. You know what I mean? Like, someone who is what, your best twink? friend. <laughs> like, it's not even words that, like, any of our friends are, oh, like, no, not saying to... You know what I mean? Like, that's not, like, a word that... Or, like... And honestly, like, even when people use it jokingly, I, like, cringe a little yeah. bit. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Like, I don't feel, just feel like maybe we shouldn't be yeah. saying that, you so know? Yeah, so if you're not using it, and the people closest to you aren't saying it, then why do random people on the internet who don't know you right. get to say right. I don't think that should be, like, I think yeah. people are getting too comfortable. Mm -hmm. Which is something I did bring up when I was, like, on Instagram Live the other night. Like, I went on, which I don't normally go on, and I went on and immediately people just started, like, flooding the chat with, like, pregnant emojis and then saying s stuff yeah. about, like, pregnancy. I don't even remember exactly what it was, but there was so many. It was multiple different people. And I just said something along the lines of, I was like, you know, there are boundaries. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know you and you don't know me. Like, like there yeah. is, like, a line, like, yes, I feel comfortable enough to talk about it. I just started feeling comfortable. Like, I'm still not 100% there yet, and I probably never will be, but I just started feeling comfortable to make jokes about it because it helps me with it. Yeah. And I just started feeling comfortable because I struggled with it for how many years, and then I, like, never brought it up online. And I just started to feel comfortable to make jokes about it or to talk about it lightly about how, like, it affects my OCD and how it's, like, so bad. But people sending me, like, someone emailed me, <laughs> um, uh, like an ad like they were like i was watching one of your videos and like what a huge coincidence that the ad for it is like about pregnancy and stuff and like email that to my business right. email or like dming me like pregnancy content it's like i can joke about that and i can make stuff but like at the end of the day i still have ocd and i still have like that is a boundary like i my friends around me know to not even do right. that like you don't even like no. do that like right. my friends do not there has never been a joke around nicole in our friend group like oh my god like are you pregnant yeah never. Like, nobody has nobody ever does that, that. because That's... everyone knows that that would be so exactly. evil and fucked up exactly but people online because they the lines are blurred of like well if that person's making a joke I, like Brittany broski talked about it like i years ago i remember she had a podcast like with tiktok um, and she, I think it was called like for you page or something, but she had a thing about how like she was able to joke about her forehead and she like made mm -hmm. jokes about it and stuff. But then people start telling her like, you have a huge forehead or you have a receding hairline or, yeah. joke, or jokes and comments like that. It's like, I can make comments and jokes like that, but coming from a stranger that's crossing a line and I don't even know you and you don't know me. Yeah. And like, that just feels weird and uncomfortable and it's not a joke anymore when other people are doing it. I don't know. There's just like lines and boundaries. I just, I think people just don't know that like twink even in the gay community is not like usually a positive thing. Yeah. There yeah. are people who are successfully reclaiming it by like being proud and yeah. like being like, I am a twink and like this is what I look like. But like historically, it's not like you are like especially for someone like me who's like pretty much like lanky and whatever like there's obviously a range of people who are twinks but like at the lower end of the attractiveness scale for gay men it's sort of like you're kind of just like not being nice to somebody by calling them that you know would you say it's mostly girls doing that um calling me a twink yeah gay i would say gay men mostly uh -huh. like, like i online yeah but like yeah. i mean you have to consider like 
the audience like that's like a it's a it's kind of like a skewed yeah. uh scale when most of your audience is women yeah um i will say i have like gay men who follow me who like are just followers because of this podcast mm-hmm. and like because of you know our existence together who have never said anything like that to me mm-hmm. and they just kind of like like all my stuff and like it's nice yeah. and like i see you <laughs> um <laughs> but uh yeah i just think like people don't yeah if, I, I think girls sometimes just don't know exactly like what that means and like the connotation yeah. of it and it's not necessarily like a completely bad thing all the time but it's definitely not something that like people outside of the community should be saying and i think people have been pushing back against that and i've like thought about making like a video about it like yeah. on tiktok or if anything and i'm just like ugh, like the moment you start saying shit like that then people are like come to you with like threefold well i think like, it's being, also like, like well, you are i think it's the idea of like a lot of girls also think like, well, I'm an ally. Like, I'm not trying to be yeah. negative about this. But at the same time, like, suddenly using the F slur and like calling others that, because I do see that. Like, I like, think the F slur has gotten incredibly popular to say recently. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, like, people were really okay with the kid. I told you about Gumball. Yeah. Like, people were really okay with him saying that. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what I don't know what his sexuality is. Yeah. Regardless, he said it incredibly violent toward yeah. Dream. Yeah, this is like literally the the dumbest set of words I've ever said in my life. Gumball said, whatever. <laughs> like like I'm like talking very seriously about this, but like he said it so violently. I'm like I actually don't give a shit who you are. Yeah, like to use it like that is detrimental to queer people. Yeah, should I retract my statement about the girl with the tail now? Mm, what that she's ugly. No, I said she's beautiful. I, said, <laughs> I like my my tail girl story. It's true. It's Why honest. It's real. It? It's, wait, you didn't say anything bad. She just has the tail. You ex- you literally doxed tail. her she, tail. She, yeah, she, she got it removed. Yeah. It was at the end of your story. It was starting to get painful for her. It was bleeding sometimes. That was the end of the story. Mm-hmm. Why don't I remember that? Probably because it's like the most like disappointing part. Like oh, uh, like an angel lost its wings. <laughs> Every time a bell rings, a little sweet baby angel girl gets her tail gets her tail yeah oh that's so sweet yeah i hope my kids have tails oh my god my kid does have a tail <laughs> so do yours <laughs> we should call each other like one slur to like end it off with. okay mm. <laughs> you know what you're up <laughs> cut perfect beautiful oh did you didn't want to say one to me oh uh, um pa, pa, pa. Bye. bye have a good one bye, bye. see you later see ya. bye 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 see ya. ciao i don't know See you later. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Later. Bye.